At any time during Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's stay on the property, did you see Mr. Depp become physical with anyone? I did not. Leading. I'm sorry, that answer was? Uh, I, I never saw Mr. Depp get physical with anyone when I saw him. Thank you, Your Honor. Next examination. Thank you, Your Honor. And where were you when uh, Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd, did there come a time when Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd went to the bar trailer? Um, I didn't notice most of the time that my interactions with them, everything's kind of centrally located. So there's a fire pit, bar trailer, and picnic tables all right in the same area. So they were generally around that area the entire evening that I saw them. And what did you observe of Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd as the evening progressed? Um, so Mr. Depp was super, uh, just super curious and really nice. Um, he was also really interested in my innkeeper because she was a musician, so they would talk about music a lot. At one point, uh, the innkeeper who lived at the next door property went home and grabbed her guitar and they had um, sung a song or two around the campfire uh, in the early evening. Um, there was another instance where Mr. Depp, the innkeeper, her name was Jenna, and myself were talking about books and music and Ms. Hurd came over and kind of interjected. She seemed a little annoyed that um, Mr. Depp wasn't spending time with her. What about Ms. Hurd's demeanor made you think that she was annoyed? Um, I think just generally she, uh, it's hard, like she, I think, I don't know, it, it was just it was just like a gut reaction, like I, I, I can't describe it, but um, you know. How long were you with Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd that evening, generally? So throughout the course of the evening, I was probably 40, mostly with Mr. Depp, but 45 minutes to an hour total. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, that's over the whole course until the end of the night after the check-in. And did you have an opportunity to observe Mr. Depp, Depp interact with other people, guests on the property that evening? Yes, um, I saw him hang out with his security guard at one point and um, outside of the uh, time that him and Jenna were singing around the campfire, he was off by himself um, a lot of the time and Ms. Hurd was over at the, uh, at the um, campfire with her friends and seeming to have a good time. And if you haven't already, can you generally describe for the jury your observations of Ms. Hurd that evening? Um, yeah, she was, uh, she was, seemed to be having a really nice time with her friends around the campfire. Um, and yeah, everyone was in a pretty good mood. Did there come a time in the evening that you observed Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd have a disagreement or an argument? Yes. Um, I was speaking with Mr. Depp uh, just one-on-one -on -one, talking about Higgsville and um, Ms. Hurd uh, came over and she said that I want to talk to you and seemed really upset about something. So I went and um, back in the house because it was really, um, they went off on their own and they, she started yelling at him and I, I didn't want to hear it. It honestly was really triggering because I've been in a emotionally abusive objection. relationship before. Objections, move to strike. What's the objection? You're up, you're maybe opposed. Okay, sure. Mr. Knight, will you please just explain for us what you observed when you saw Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd having an argument? Yes. Um, so Ms. Hurd asked him to go talk um, off to the side and she was upset at him and she was yelling at him. Um, and I personally had been in- Objection. Uh, All right, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. okay. You could just explain to the jury um, what you observed when you saw Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd having an argument. Okay. Um, he was kind of cowering and seemed almost afraid and um, it was really like odd to see because he was older than her obviously so 
Um, but I just went back in the house because I didn't Objection. want to. Went to what he did. All right, I'll sustain us too. Understood. So after you observed the argument, fair to say you went back to the tra to your house on site. Yes, Sunday? I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, what happened after that? So when I saw Mr. Depp um, on my next rounds, he apologized profusely and said, "I'm really sorry about that." She was upset. Objection, because... Your Honor. Hearsay sustained. Next question. Hearsay. What, if any, type of reaction did Mr. Depp have? He was just really... Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. He's going to say it again. It's the reaction. It's not the statement. All right. If you could make that clear, that's yeah. fine. Just what type of physical reaction did Mr. Depp have after the argument between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd? He honestly, throughout the rest of the night, became a lot more quiet and, um, and was uh, just very more petulant. In the beginning of the night, he um, was a lot more outgoing and extroverted. And throughout, as the course of the night went on, he was less and less so and more quiet. Did you observe anyone do or take drugs? I did not. Did you witness Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd interact other than the argument that you previously described for the jury? Um, the, at the end of the night, I heard a commotion. I was inside the house and came out. I couldn't tell what was going on. Um, and Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd were having a discussion about, um, about I, I'm not sure what, but then they went to their trailer. At that point, a lot of people had already gone to bed. So um, it, it just kind of petered out. Everyone went to bed, including myself, and I didn't hear anything else the rest of the night. What time did the evening come to an end? I'd say it was almost around 3 a.m. Did you ever see Mr. Depp grab anyone? Objection leading. Sustained. Leading. Did you ever see Mr. Depp become physical with anyone? Objection leading. Sustained. Next question. Did you ever witness Mr. Depp get angry that evening? Objection leading. Sustained. What, if anything, happened the next morning? Um, the next morning, we have checkout at noon at the time uh, before COVID. And so uh, around 11 o'clock, one of my innkeepers let me know that there was some damage. Objection, hearsay. Um, Did something happen that caused you to go to Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's trailer? Yes, I was informed that. Objection, hearsay. It's not being offered for the truth, Your Honor. I mean, it, may we approach on this okay, one topic? Okay, sure. Thank you. <laughs> what, if anything, happened the next morning, Mr. Knight? Uh, the innkeepers let me know that there was some damage in one of the trailers, and it happened to be Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's trailer. So I wanted to inspect the uh, trailer because I was extremely worried. Um, all those trailers that Steve and I worked on were like my babies, and um, the one they were staying in was the only one that was mostly original and restored 1950s style, and so I was uh, very concerned. So what did you observe when you went to the trailer? I observed that um, there was a light sconce by the bathroom um, in the bedroom that had been broken off the wall, and a couple pieces were on the floor, and they were, um, and yeah, it was basically just broken. The light fixture was hanging on the wall still, except for the pieces that were on the floor. Did you come to understand how that happened? Objection, yeah. foundation, and All right, light. foundation, I'll just say that's the foundation, how he knew. Did you ask how the sconce was broken? Objection, hearsay. Sustained. How often do light fixtures in the trailers break? Um, they break uh, pretty often. I mean, it's not like a usual thing, but things in the trailers generally get broken because it's all vintage trailers. And um, I would say as much as every couple weeks, there's some incident of damage in one of the trailers. In this case, Mr. Depp had told me that. Objection, do you say? Objection. Um, so anyway, yes. Beyond the light fixture, was anything else in the trailer damaged? No, everything else looked fine. In fact, we have a, a something we call a piggy fee 
uh, that we address to guests that if there's anything what we call inconsiderate or unusually large messes, we charge them extra for it for a $25 an hour cleaning fee, but they did not receive one of those because everything outside of light fixture looks fine. And what was your reaction to seeing the damaged light fixture? Um, to be honest, I was relieved because it was not a big deal. I just tucked, there was already another light in the room. So I just tucked the wires in the wall until I had a few months later time to um, buy. It was matching sconce with another one in the room. So I had to, on eBay, find a matching pair that would fit there. And uh, when I finally got around to it, I was able to get that and charge it to uh, Nathan, who had, whose credit card I had. And what was your understanding of who Nathan was? Mr. Depp's assistant. Okay. And what did you charge Nathan or Mr. Depp for replacing the, that pair of light fixtures? The pair came out to $62. Okay. At any time during Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's stay on the property, did you see Mr. Depp become physical with anyone? Objection I leading. Okay. Overruled. That's fine. I'm sorry, that answer was? Uh, I, I never saw Mr. Depp get physical with anyone when I saw him. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor.